to my channel today. Today's video, we're gonna be trying out a ton new drugstore products that I've never tried before. I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna lift it up. I have this whole drawer just filled with all new drugstore makeup that I've purchased, that I've had sent to me, and I just put it all in this drawer, and I'm like, I really wanna film a first impressions and try a bunch of new drugstore makeup. So that is what we're gonna be doing today. So before we begin this video, make sure to click that subscribe button and also ignore my fingernail right here. Yeah, totally like broke that off during volleyball this past weekend, but make sure to click that subscribe button. Also make sure to ring the bell as well and do hashtag notification squad if you decide to ring that bell for a future shout out. And today's shout out goes to Bryn Putman. Thank you so much for having that bell turned on. So yeah, make sure to comment down below if you guys want that shout out. Now let's go ahead and start this full face first impression drugstore makeup. I'm pumped. All right, so we're gonna go right into the base and I have the Maybelline Matte Poreless Foundation right here. Roxette is just raving about this a ton, so I really wanna try it out. I have two shades here. I have 112, which is classic ivory, or no, natural ivory, and then I have 120, which is classic ivory. So I don't know which one is going to match me. I honestly feel like this natural ivory 112 is going to so i'm gonna pour a little bit out i really wish i had a pump <laughs> but i'm gonna go ahead and pour a little bit out on my palette here my god that was a lot of foundation right there that was a lot of foundation my bad that's why it needs a pump you're gonna waste so much product with this i'm gonna add just a tad bit of 120 in there just to take away some of that pink globs right out i swear now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little spatula and I'm gonna mix these together. If you guys are wondering where I purchased this little palette and spatula from, it is from Ofer Cosmetic. But yeah, I love this thing, I use it every single day. And then I just clean it off with a makeup wipe right afterwards. The way I'm gonna apply this is the way that I've been applying my foundation lately, ever since Bailey did it this way. I've been using a brush, so I'm using a foundation brush. I'm just going to be swiping that down my face, pressing it in with another foundation brush, and then going over it with a sponge just to soak up any excess and get rid of any like brush strokes. All right, so here is the foundation on my face. It actually looks really, really good. I can understand why Roxette likes this one so much. It feels like it's like a high-end foundation. It doesn't feel like it's drugstore at all. But this one so far looks amazing on the skin. It has amazing coverage. Like if you do not want to splurge for a high-end foundation, this one is definitely one to try out. Honestly, what I really like about it is that it's not dry on my skin. Like I have dry skin. I have oily T-zone, dry outer portion and it doesn't look dry. Kinda even reminds me a little bit of the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus. Is it Velvet Plus? I don't think it is. Matte Velvet Foundation from Makeup Forever, yeah. That's what this one reminds me of. And I really like the finish of it. The finish is gorgeous. So I can't wait to see what it's gonna look like as it sits on my skin, like, you know, throughout the video and throughout the day. All right, so next up I have this All Covered Up Concealer from Sonia Kashuk, and it's in the shade Porcelain 01. I don't know, let me see what this looks like. Oh my gosh, this looks just like the NARS one. Here, I have the NARS one in front of me. See the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer? Looks just like the Sonia Kashuk one. <laughs> like, wow. My God, this is cool. Like, we're kind of finding like a, a few like dupes. So I'm just gonna take a fluffy concealer brush and just dab it in. Oh, it's like creamy. I don't know how this is gonna go. I wonder, is this gonna be too dark? Oh, I think it's gonna be too dark. I don't think I can use it. See how dark that is? It's probably not gonna work on my skin. I don't think I'm gonna be able to use it. It feels good though, it feels very creamy, and you just pat it in. So it actually feels really good, but that's pretty dark for porcelain. Porcelain should not be that dark. Zero one, it should be lighter than that. So, but it feels good. Just needs to be a little bit lighter. I could actually probably even use that when I'm self tanned. There you go. Okay, so since I don't have a concealer, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a drugstore concealer off camera and I'll be right back. All right, so the concealer that I put on is the one that I really like. This is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer. I really enjoy that one. And then now I'm gonna go in with this Flower Beauty sponge and I got this in a PR package. It's very, very like airy and cushiony. It's not dense at all. Usually when you go to a drugstore sponge, they're usually too dense. So I'm actually really interested in trying this one out. So. 
Let's see how this is gonna blend it out. Okay, so that actually blended out my concealer really well. I think this is probably one of my favorite ones from the drugstore, to be honest. The L'Oreal one is actually really nice too, but it's a little bit more dense. And again, I kind of wish that these drugstore ones would just make it a little bit more pointier towards the end just to make it easy. But since this one isn't as dense as the L'Oreal one, I could really squeeze this one together and fit it anywhere where I want it. So I actually recommend this one over the L'Oreal one. So if you guys can find this one, definitely check it out. I think it's really good. Now for a powder, I'm gonna use this one that Rimmel sent me, and this is their hashtag Insta Fix and Matte Translucent Powder. I really wanna get the Airspun powder that, I think it's called Airspun, it's a loose powder. Everyone loves it. The only thing that people say about it like, is about the smell of it. I really wanna find that one. Where is it sold at? Do you guys know if it's sold at Target, Ulta, Walmart? CBS, like let me know where that thing is sold and I wanna go pick it up because I'm dying to try that one out. But I'm just gonna take this loose powder with a fluffy brush and just press it into the skin. Okay, so there's the powder on my skin. It actually really made my skin look matte. Like look how matte it is, like whoa. It's like super matte and I like it that it doesn't make me feel like I have a ton of powder on my face. Like it doesn't even feel like that. It just like set my makeup perfectly. This actually would be a really good on the go blotting powder, I think too, because it's not gonna add any color to your skin. And that's usually what I travel with, is I usually travel with my Cover FX blotting powder, but this would be a great drugstore dupe. And I really like the inside of it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it actually has like little hashtags like engraved in the powder, which is awesome. So yeah, I actually really like the way that this made my face look matte. I always have to set my foundations, otherwise it will just move all over the place and plus if I don't set my foundation that's when your bronzer can get kind of muddy because if you're putting on bronzer it's going to stick to that foundation when you set it it's going to be a lot easier to put on bronzer and blush and not have it like get muddy and stick to areas and get splotchy so that's like my biggest tip there. All right, so next up I'm gonna use the new Maybelline brow pencils and these launched not too long ago, I believe. So it reminds me a ton of the Anastasia brow pencils. Ooh, they're creamy. Yeah, I think blonde is going to work. Blonde is actually a little dark, but I think it will work. So it has a spoolie on this end and then the pencil on the other. So I'm just gonna fill in my brows like how I usually do it. Okay, so I just got done doing my brows with this one. I have to say that first off, with this brow pencil for being blonde, it's a little dark for blonde, I feel like. Maybe just a tad bit. I would like a little bit shade lighter. It works for me because I have darker roots, but when I have my blonde touched up, I think it would be a little too dark. So um, that's the only thing with it, but I think it's a perfect shade for me right now. I just threw it. <laughs> now to the formula of it. I think the formula is perfection. It's waxy and not too creamy to where it's gonna wipe right off and it goes on really easy and it doesn't tug the skin. Like I think the formula is perfect on this pencil. If you are trying to save money and not go buy the Anastasia brow pencils and you're just like going through them so fast, go check out the Maybelline one. Again, this is the Brow Precise Micro Crayon and yeah, just amazing. I'm really, really impressed with this. And now what I'm gonna do to set it, I'm gonna use the Rimmel Brow This Way Lightweight Brow Gel. It defines and fills. This one is the shade Blonde, of course. And it just looks like this. I'm just gonna fill them in. I really love going in with these type of products because I feel like it makes the brows look a little bit more natural. It shows the hairs and yeah, so I actually am really excited. I really wanna try this one out by itself though because it feels really good. All right, so for eyes, I'm gonna do a mix of like palettes from Flower Beauty and I'll make sure to tell you guys which ones I'm using. And I'm also gonna use the NYX Perfect Filter one, the one that I bought when I did that video with Roxette. We did like a drugstore haul. So if you guys wanna go check that out, go to my channel. It's right in like, I think it was only a couple of videos ago. But I'm gonna go into this NYX one because they actually have I struggled with opening this one in the video too, but um, they actually have a cream matte shade and none of the Flower Beauty palettes have that. So I'm actually going to take a fluffy powder brush into that cream matte, dust off the excess and just dust it over the eyes just to help set anything. I didn't do an eyeshadow primer because I did use a little bit of my concealer up there and I was gonna use this e.l.f. one, but I had a couple comments say, be careful with the e.l.f. primer and I'm like, I can't afford getting a reaction to anything right now because I have to film three more videos or four more videos even after this. 
so I just can't afford it. <laughs> Next up, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go into this shade right here. It's like a soft matte light brown transition shade, and I'm gonna put this in my crease just to help blend anything out. All right, so that one, even for that light transition shade, is extremely pigmented and easy to blend. I'm gonna go into this shade right here from the Flower Beauty palette. This is Golden Natural ES3 palette, and I'm gonna take this kind of gold shade right here. It's very light, and I'm gonna place this all over the lid. And I'm using a Sigma Cream Color E58 brush. It's my favorite brush to use for any shimmer shades. And these almost honestly feel like a cream. They feel really good. Now I'm just gonna take the brush that it comes with and I'm just going to, dude, that's a nice blending brush right there that it comes with. Wow, it's like actually soft. Okay, so I still wanna keep it a bit light, but I wanna add a little bit more on the outside of the lid. So I'm gonna go to the next shade over this way. This is more of a cool tone bronzy shade and I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm gonna blend that out on the outer part of the eye. And I'm gonna keep it pretty low too. Now I'm gonna go, I was gonna jump around palettes but I think I'm gonna basically stay with this one. This one is probably my favorite out of all of them. The This other one right here is all purples mainly and this one is called Warm Natural ES1, which is different. Why is that called warm? Those are like mainly cool tones. Uh, the other one here is also really gorgeous. It's got some bronze and blues, and this is called Intense Natural ES4. These are all very creamy, very blendable. I'm gonna go into this matte shade right here. This is like a darker brown, and I'm gonna focus this in the outer part of the crease. All right, so there is that definition of the crease. The one down part to this palette, and I noticed it more as I was using darker shades, there's a lot of fallout a lot, a lot of fallout. I actually say don't have any foundation on when using these, so that way you could wipe it away. Luckily, I had my foundation set, so I can just sweep it away. All right, so I just went ahead and blended out those edges with the brush that came with the palette. All right, next up we're gonna take that NYX transition shade and we're just going to blend this out underneath the eyes on that bottom lash line. And then next up, I'm gonna go ahead and go into this shade right here that we put on the outer part of the eye. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put this on that bottom lash line. I'm gonna press this one a little bit in so that way, because if I swipe it around, it's just gonna fall out. Then I'm gonna go into the darker shade that we used to deepen up that crease. Next up, I'm just gonna brighten up the eyes a little bit and I'm gonna take this kind of icy white champagne shade right here. That just totally contradicted itself. Icy white shade. It's got a shimmer to it. And I'm gonna place this in the inner corner of the eye and then also on the brow bone. So for my eyeliner today, I'm gonna do a wing. So I'm gonna go into the Rimmel Color Precise Eyeliner and this is in the shade Black. Check out that tip, like wow. That thing is like pointed and precise. All right, so one wing is done. I really like the applicator on this. I think it makes it really easy to make a good sharp wing. The only problem with this one which is unfortunate because everything else is so amazing, is that it dries up really quickly. So I would like start filling it in and then it would just kind of run out and it wasn't putting anything on there. And then I would have to put the cap back on, wait a little bit and then do it again. Cause it's not like a shaky, it doesn't have anything inside. So that's the big down part to this. Otherwise it's amazing. I just wish it didn't run out so quickly. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do my mascara and I'm gonna use the new, this is like brand new I believe. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise it's waterproof which is awesome I'm excited to try this one out the wand looks like right here and I've got eyeliner on my arm so let's ignore that but yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and coat my lashes with this and then I'm gonna put on some falsies right afterwards all right so mascara is on I really like it, it actually reminds me of the Too Faced Born This Way mascara like a ton but it's not clumpy at all but I don't know if it's because if it's brand new and that's why it's not clumpy yet but it made my lashes look really good and I like it and I like the fact that it's waterproof because I definitely needed some more waterproof mascaras in my collection everything else is not waterproof but it definitely reminds me of the Too Faced better than sex mascara like what the wand everything reminds me of it all right so before I put on any lashes I want to add some black liner down there and I'm going to use the new Revlon colorist or color color stick colorist it was covered right here like you can't see color stay two-in-one angled casual Kajol. I don't even know, eyeliner, and it's waterproof. And this is in the shade Onyx. 
Ooh, it's got a brush on one end and then it's angled on this end. So I don't know how I'm gonna like the angled. That's interesting. I'm just gonna apply this to my waterline. All right, so first off, that liner is so creamy and just glides right onto the waterline. Like it's super black and it's just really nice. And actually that angled of it made it really easy to get my tight line. It was a little hard to get my waterline, but my tight line was like super easy. I've never had it be that easy. I think I like you. I think I like it. This is actually really nice. I just love the fact that I didn't tug my waterline, which was like a plus. Now I'm gonna go and just put on some false lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so my eyelashes are on. They're just eyeliner ones that I use all the time. All right, so I'm gonna go into this Lift and Sculpt Flower Beauty little contouring palette. This is medium to deep. I'm worried that this is going to be too dark on me. Oh my gosh, so much pigment from it, but there is a little bit of fallout, so I'm gonna dust some away. I don't know how it's gonna be. We're gonna test it out and hopefully it all goes well. <laughs> A little warm. I'm going to press. Oh my god, that's so dark. Why is it so low? Why is it not like blending out? Blend, 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 blend. I'm gonna take a fluffy powder brush and try to blend this out. Okay, so that ended up working out. I just had to really, really blend it out. I felt like this one was a little bit harder to blend out for some reason. I don't know. I just felt like it wanted to stick and stay wherever I put it. And then there definitely is quite a bit of fallout on it because now it's on the blush. Dust that away. So it's so soft and creamy that there is quite a bit of fallout. So I'm not the biggest fan of that bronzing shade just wasn't my favorite. Now I'm gonna go into the new Physicians Formulas, their Butter Blush. I really wanted to try this one out. I would have tried the Flower Beauty one out, but the fact that I got these in, I'm like, they smell so good and their butter bronzers are amazing. So I'm gonna use this one right here. This one is called Vintage Rouge. It's a really pretty color. So I'm just gonna top off any excess because this is very pigmented. I swatched it on live. If you guys tuned in for that Instagram live, comment down below. Now I'm just going to press it on the cheeks. There we go. And then I always go in with, I love this brush. It's the Mr. Right brush from Too Faced. The writing is totally like off, but I'm just going to blend that out. Pretty. So pretty, I like that one. Okay, so for highlight, I had a ton of requests to use this one right here. This is the Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette SP1. Do not take my brushes, Ollie. Still on my lap. Um, so I had a ton of you guys request to do this one. This is the brush that it comes with. I'm not gonna use that, I don't think. But then these are the highlights right here. So let's swatch them real quick. Oh my God. Whoa. I was not surprised though, to be honest. Like with the formula, the same formula is in their eyeshadows and that contour palette as well. And that formula is so buttery and creamy. So I knew this was going to be a good highlight. Same thing with their shimmer shades. Why they're so good is because of this formula. It's really, really nice. So I'm actually gonna go into this lighter shade right here with the fan brush and I'm going to apply this everywhere where I love to highlight. Basically the cheekbones, the nose, the keep its bow, that fun stuff. Wow. Oh my gosh, they were not kidding about this highlight. I need to like press it in a little bit. It's like, whoa, wow. The highlight is gorgeous, like absolutely gorgeous. And I love it that they have shades that are going to apply to everyone in here. These are really pretty. It actually honestly reminds me a little bit of the sleek makeup one, but even more creamier and buttier, buttier, <laughs> buttier, buttery. Any, even more buttier. They're even more creamier than those ones. So yeah, definitely get your hands on this. I definitely give it a dope. It is stunning. I'm gonna take this with me to Toronto. Yep, that is going with me. Okay, so for my lip product today, I'm actually gonna use the NYX Matte Lipstick in Butter. Oh, this actually kind of reminds me of a lipstick version of Sepia from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's more of that gray nude or brownish shade. I couldn't find anything that was really nude in my collection. So I'm just gonna pop, pop this on. All right, so there is that color. I almost said there's Sepia on my lips, but it's not. It's the butter shade from them. It feels really good even for a matte, but I'm gonna go in and top it off with one of their soft matte lip creams 
And this is in the shade London, just to kind of give it a little bit more color. It's got a little bit of a caramel brown to it. Oh yeah. Why did I think that this was a gloss right now? I feel like I just put like a matte on top of a matte. I totally thought that this was gonna be their butter gloss. And it's not, it's like their matte one, but whatever. I like those two shades together. All right, so here is the completed look. I really like the way that it turned out. I was really, really impressed with a lot of the products, you guys. A ton of the products just made me even not even feel like they were drugstore. I feel like drugstore has upped their game so much. And I already kind of gave you guys little reviews of all the products right after I used them. So I'm not going to bore you with that at the end and just kind of repeat myself. But I'm actually really happy with the way that this turned out. Yay. Thumbs up for this. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me comments down below what you want to see next, what you want to see used next, what you want to see reviewed next. I'm here for you. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.